Hi Libra and welcome to your general love reading for April 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is a general reading so it's not going to be everybody's situation but if you would like a personal reading you can find all that information in the description box and do keep in mind that the rules can be reversed in this reading because it is a general reading. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what is going on for you in April 2022. For the situation, we have the Seven of Swords crossed by the Knight of Cups. Okay, so somebody is... Hmm, there might be some deception that's going on here. If it's not deception... Um, it feels more like an avoidance kind of an energy. Like there's there's this Knight of Cups here, right? Which is in the challenge position, which means that somebody wants to come forward. Somebody wants to come and um, either talk or give, you know, some kind of a love offer or just open up emotionally. Um, but there's an avoidance to do so. Let's see, in your energy, we have the Five of Cups the Page of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is, whatever the situation is, you're feeling um, this Five of Cups, I feel like it just keeps showing up in like every reading this time around. Um, there's a sense of loss, there's a sense of grief. There's some sadness um, surrounding this. Possibly even just focusing on, on the negative, on the negative scenarios or on the negative aspects of whatever it is that is happening here. And I'm not saying that there are necessarily positives that are happening here, but there might be something positive in the whole situation that you might not be able to see. Because um, I do see you being interested here. Um, with this person. I do see you being interested, but I also, with this Ace of Cups, I feel like this is more about self-love, more so than anything else. Um, we'll see. So for them, we have the Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands, and Judgment. Okay, so this is, this is somebody who does have passion for you, and I feel like this person is also interested. That's the thing. They are interested, um, but their behavior might be a little bit unstable or in and out, one day this way, another day the other way. Um, and then whatever it is that they are giving to you, I feel like it's um, it feels small. It feels like it's always about to go in a certain direction and then maybe it doesn't. But there's some kind of a, there's something here with judgment. There's there's a big energy here that they're moving towards. And I do like that it's like their judgment card is right under your Ace of Cups, which are like the two biggest energies that I'm seeing right now. So it's like something is coming into alignment here. So we'll see what that is. I feel like for them it's like a major um, acknowledgement or like a major realization. Potential outcome, we have the King of Cups. So that's love. That's love. And I do see this um, as if it's this person. It, it's a big progression from the Knight of Cups, which is actually in the challenge position, right to this King of Cups, which would make sense if it's coming right after judgment. So let's clarify and see what all of this is about. So let's see, the Seven of Swords crossed by the Knight of Cups. The Chariot, the World, and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, it's like somebody is having this is having this tendency. Um, to quickly move away from this 
And I'm also getting that for a lot of you, this might be something that has already happened, actually. Um, almost like a change in direction. Kind of like, okay, I'm moving this way. Okay, nope, never mind. Turn around, go back. That's what I'm getting, and I feel like it's the person that's attached to you here. Even though, even though there are emotions, the Queen of Cups. It could be that this person um, felt like things were either moving too fast in a particular direction or that things were just escalating, you know, if maybe it was an argument, let's say, um, or if it's somebody new, you know, wanting, um, that does want to date you, or maybe you were in a relationship with this person and then things, things, something may have felt like it was either escalating or just moving very, very quickly. So it's like this person just kind of turned around, turned around the other way, um, kind of like closing the door on you. Let's see. Let's see the five of cups in your energy. The Nine of Wands and the Three of Wands. Yeah, you're feeling hurt. You're feeling hurt and that this, um, it's like you, you can pick up on the other person's resistance here. And it's, I feel like you're waiting. You're waiting to see what might come out of this, what might happen. Um, but at the same time, it's like also really focusing on the negatives, kind of like expecting the worst. That's the feeling I'm getting from you here. I don't know. Let's see the Page of Swords. And we have the Ace of Swords and the High Priestess. It's like you're really wanting to find out the truth about something here. So it's interesting because it's like, yeah, you're kind of like expecting the worst, but at the same time, um, just wanting to know what is true. What is really going on with this person? And I feel like, you know, you're, you're having a hard time figuring out that truth. Um, but at the same time, it's like you're trying to research it in some way and possibly even um, being willing to talk to this person, wanting to talk to this person to figure that out. Um, but I don't see you doing it. I don't see you really um, taking it to that level. Wanting to, but possibly holding back. Either that or you're finding out something that, you're, that you might not be um, sharing with them. Let's see the Ace of Cups. The Three of Cups and the Moon. Yeah, so you're wanting, I mean, it just looks like you want this connection with them. You either want to come back together if you were together before, um, or you just, you just want things to be light and enjoyable with this person. But there's some doubts here. You're not really sure if, if that's possible. And it does feel like, um, I don't know, like there's some kind of a fear here and it's because you don't really know what's going on with them. That's what's making you feel so hesitant about it, even though you do feel, you do feel this connection with them or you do have love for them, depending. But I feel like through, through this, through this situation, you're learning a lot about self-love <clears throat> in some way. Almost like learning how to unite with your own self. Kind of like learning how to depend on your own self. It's like things that have, things that have been suppressed are coming up to your awareness. <clears throat> and in some way that, that somehow relates to you being able to kind of like finding a friend within your own self. Finding support within your own self.
Hmm. Kind of like, you know what? If this person is not stable, you know, that's okay. It doesn't have to affect me. I can choose to either not engage in this, not participate in this, and, you know, I, I can find whatever I need within my own self. Kind of like that. All right, let's see what's going on with this person. So for the Knight of Wands, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Okay, so it looks like this person, whatever it is that they're doing, um, this back and forth, this fluctuation or, or whatever it is, they have their instability for some of them, this isn't going to be for all of them. For some of them, it does involve another person, but there's something deceptive about that. There's something deceptive about either that or, uh, that other person or just that that connection, okay? Um, for others of you, this person by by giving, it's, it's like they're giving you mixed signals and even that is deceptive because it's not representing how they truly feel. It's like it's not coming from a place of, um, it's like it's not coming from a place of truth. It's not coming from a place of respect for their own self, really. And then, of course, that would translate into not respecting you either in some way. It doesn't have to be that. What, whatever the case is, they're, they're deceiving themselves first and foremost because I feel like they're seeing you um, as this queen of pentacles like having a lot of a lot of respect for you but they're acting in a completely opposite way right, let's see the page of wands judgment showing up again and the page of pentacles There's something big that they're learning here, but I feel like they're just at the beginning of it. They're just at the beginning of learning this. Um, they're doing something that is a little bit deceptive, again, um, either to you, to the connection, to their own self, to somebody else. Like there's just something here with this person where it just feels like it's a little bit off. Um, again, it does feel like it's like this huge self-defense mechanism, and that doesn't mean that I'm excusing them. Um, it's just what it is. But it's through this behavior that they're actually finding out something about their own self, having a realization, not only about their own self, but also about you. So having a realization about their own self, but in a way that relates to you. Let's see judgment. The lovers and the six of pentacles. So yeah, this is all about the way that they may have um, been treating you. We do have Pisces, which has showed up here, um, just calling that out. And now we do have Gemini, right? Which is, I actually feel like this reading is kind of similar to, like this person's energy is similar to Gemini's <laughs> energy that I just did. So some of you might actually be dealing with a Gemini. Um, let me know if you are, because it does feel like this person's energy is very similar to what I got for Gemini. Um, this person is having a huge realization basically in terms of the connection with you, okay? So I feel like this is just kind of the same message repeating itself, it's just being confirmed here, especially in terms of give and take. Like what is it that you have been giving and what is it that they have been giving? 
Because if you, if you had been giving to this and then this person is just um, avoiding, right, and closing the door on you, um, they're beginning to realize that. And not only did they close the door, I feel like there's something that's also deceptive. It's like closing the door and then being deceptive, like, you know. And again, it's a self-defense mechanism, but it's, it's at the cost of your well-being, right? Um, it did something that hurt you. I mean, they have judgment twice. So this person might also be feeling like they want um, forgiveness. I don't necessarily know if they're going to ask for it um, directly. But there's definitely an acknowledgement of how they have treated you and what how much it is they have given or not given. Okay, let's see that King of Cups for the potential outcome because that feels like it's such, <laughs> such a different energy than what we've been talking about. Okay, right, we have the King of Swords. The Eight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's it's kind of like all of a sudden um, their mind is just like gets activated and, and they're able to think of something that is so rational but also in a way where it it reflects their emotions at the same time. So it's like a combination of both, both the mind and the heart. So there's a lot of love here. Right? There's a lot of love here, but it's also showing up in a way where, okay, you know what? I need to think rationally about this because I feel like there was something that was not very rational or that was not very well thought, thought out, especially for this person, right? And how they were acting. I also see this as um, you being able to um, remove remove the way. Oh my gosh, that didn't even make sense. <laughs> trying to trying to interpret the message. It's like you're trying to move away from the influence, the negative emotional influence that this person has created in you. And what that leads to is more emotional balance for you. And that's not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing to do here. Um, but I feel like you're, you're, you're doing it here, okay, at the end. So that's like the message for you is to try to emotionally detach from the effect of this. And I feel like you're doing that because, as I said before, it's like you're finding your own support from within your own self, your own friend from within your own self. So yeah, that's the potential outcome here. It's like this person is becoming more, um, more warm, more compassionate, more open, more, a little bit more logical, like things just making more sense. While you are affected less by everything that has happened or everything that is happening and being able to cope and manage. All right, Libra, interesting reading. Let's see the final message for you. We have receive. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. So yeah, you know, I'm even wondering if this might be somebody else here, this King of Cups. It could be for some of you. Somebody who's going to be very emotionally secure and stable and also very rational, okay? If it's not this person transforming, and I do see a transformation for them, but it could even be somebody else. So yeah, Libra, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.